Southwestern Adventist and Champion Christian today on YouTube. It's the Knights and Tigers to open up 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. Chris Shima, glad to be with you. As uh, we get set for our first doubleheader of the new season and our first Region 10 doubleheader, Southwest Region, excuse me, doubleheader, featuring the number one Champion Christian Tigers at 7 and 2 and 2 and 0 in Southwest Region play, taking on your 1 and 9 Southwest. Er Adventist Knights. They are also 1-3 and three in Southwest Region play. Let's meet the uh, starting lineups for both of these teams. First for DeAnthony Ellison and the Tigers from Champion Christians. Number 1, Lily Pickett. Number 12 is Tori Hayes. Number 13 is Justice Irish Holmes. Number 24 is Aaliyah Clark. And number 31 is Cameron Gentry. Now for Adrian Brown and your Knights. Today it's number 0, Asia Tony. Number 10 is Eunice Balboa. Number 13 is Daria Lowry. Number 35 is Sarah Valderrama. And uh, who did I miss? Uh, number 14, Madison Clements, as you see her jog out. So, Knights have been off for a while. Since December the 10th, they lost 139 against Cedar Valley at home, but they did pick up their first victory of the year. A uh, couple days prior to that loss against Cedar Valley, they took down Randall University. That was on the 6th of December, and they won that one by 14. Biggest win ever against Randall for the Knights. Meanwhile, the Tigers, well, they just got off a plane at midnight, ladies and gentlemen. They were uh, relaxing and, and getting some beach time, but also playing some hoops in Hawaii over the uh, New Year break. And uh, they split against a couple of Division II programs out in Hawaii. The Tigers losing to Hawaii Pacific last week, 65-56, and then defeating Chaminade, 78-76. So, be interesting to see what kind of energy the Tigers have. Uh, you remember when you were young? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're granted 19 to 22-year-olds roughly, but still. Uh, that's a quick turnaround. Not only get in at midnight, then you got to go on the road. So, Southwestern and Venice will control the opening tip as the Knights back. And they're going to be off again for eight days after this game. So, the Knights picking up a victory. Good to see that. Losing both uh, meetings against Champion last year. They've also moved up in the rankings and blocks per game. Both of these teams are in the top eight in blocks per game at over three a game. Champion is fourth at three and a half. Southwestern and Venice is eighth at 3.1. Bank shot is no good by Lowry. So here come the Tigers. Tori Hayes gets it out to Clark. Justice Irish Holmes, deadly three-point shooter. Got to keep an eye on her. Nice cut by Hayes, and Lily Pickett finds her for the opening bucket. Tori Hayes, 11.7 points per ball game. How about Pickett with the dime? 3.9 assists per game. That's fifth best in Division Two. Jumper off, so uh, the Knights are 0 for 2 here in the opening minute. Tigers... Jumper by Hayes is no good. Gentry tries to tip the rebound. Clements able to deflect it out to Lowry, who throws it too high. Justice Irish Holmes trying for the steal. Ran out of real estate. Well, we've seen Valderrama get hot, especially from that right wing. Valderrama long on that triple try, though. Valderrama, 12.3 points per ball game, a double-double threat at 8.8 .8 rebounds, top 15 in Division Two in that category for Sarah, and she is seventh with 1.4 blocks. Talked about the shot blocking. Uh, both teams taking a lot of long shots. Now Balboa drives in, attacks Irish Holmes, and... Eunice will go to the free throw line. So Balboa, 50-50 free throw shooter, trying to get the Knights on the board here in the opening 90 seconds. Eunice Balboa, eight points per ball game. The junior from Little Rock buries the first free throw to get the Knights on the board. So 
So Knights will be off for eight days. Then they have a three-game, three-day road trip. It'll be over a long weekend at Andrews University on the 13th through the 15th. Then uh, coming back home after that. Uh, we saw the Knights had a very road-heavy uh, first semester. Things will be, or excuse me, uh, yeah, home-heavy first semester. Uh, they will be on the road quite a bit to start off the second semester, especially, and then on into region play as well. We got a timeout on the court. We're going to step aside here just underway in a 2 2 ball game. So that's a bit of the broadcast schedule. We won't be with you again until the 18th. Tigers fans, I'll be with you on Tuesday as champion will return home to take on Dallas Christian at 5 p.m. Tigers putting on the press here. Looks like that's a kickball out of bounds. Looks like it might have gone off of justice. So some road tripping after an eight-day break after today for the Knights. And for the Tigers, they're back home Tuesday. Kind of ping-pong home and away in January, they'll be home on Tuesday on the 16th at Barclay, home again on the 20th against Arlington. Stepping left, uh, Daria Lowry gets the jumper to go. Knights with a 4-2 lead here in the early going. Champion going quickly here. Pass a little bit high. Pick it out near midcourt. Scoops it over to Hayes. Long on the three. Offensive rebound by Clark. Back out to Torrey. Extra pass to Pickett's. Good ball movement. Finding Holmes for three. It's short. Hayes tips it down to Gentry. Her first shot, no, but her second is good. Cameron Gentry, what a stat line. Ninth in scoring in Division II at 17.4. Leading rebounder in the NCCAA at 18 a game. Second in field goal percentage at 57. And 2.2 blocks per game as she gets a rebound here. Throw ahead to Pickett. Here's Justice Irish Holmes one-on-one, -on -one, and she will score. So the leg's starting to pick up for the Tigers, who are just off the plane as they take their first lead at 6-4. to four. Almost a steal here by Clark. Knights dive on the floor for it. Looks like that was Lowry getting the hustle play. They call a jump ball, though, as players got tied up, and it'll go to champion. Gentry, Hayes, here is Clark taking the mid-range off the back iron, and Valderrama collects another rebound. Here's Clements. Asia Tony gets it back to her at the free throw line, takes the jumper in the lane, contested shot. Gentry got the rebound. Here comes Holmes. Look at cross court for Pickett. Chased it down in the corner, but ran out of room. So we've seen that a couple of times here in this one. Knight's getting some defensive stops. Asia Tony to the cutter. Clements blocked by Gentry, and it's out of bounds, and it's last touched by Lowry. Hannah Coosters has uh, joined the team. We saw her on the uh, night soccer team and also Evelyn Hernandez, who we may or may not see today, I'm told. So a couple new bodies for the Lady Knights, getting a little depth in there as that's tipped away, pass deflected out by Clements. So right now it's Clements and Asia Tony, Eunice Balboa with Lowry and Valderrama. That's the five for the Knights. Pickett goes into the backcourt. Just inside six to go here in this opening quarter. Slow start, six to four. Cameron Gentry. Rocket pass there by Clark. Torrey Hayes goes back out. 
right back to Clark, couldn't get the jumper, and then we got an over-the-back call here on Gentry. It's not technically what it is. They don't call that over-the-back, but that is what happened. Whether it, it used to be called that, then they switched it to something else, but it's the same play, basically. Occasionally, I'll get an email about from a referee if I say over the back. So if you're wondering why I'm talking this long-windedly about something you couldn't care less about, that's why. Offensive foul called there, so Champion getting some stops strung together. Slow offensively. Again, I was curious to see what the top-scoring team in Division Two would look like after uh, just getting off the plane less than 24 hours ago and then having to go on the road. They've got some legs. You see the uh, boost of energy there from Irish Holmes, but the shot's not falling right now. And if you're in the Knights, you want to capitalize. Balboa keeps her dribble nicely. To the cutter, Tony got tied up with Gentry, and that's going off the Tigers and out of bounds. So just about the midway point. It'll stay with Southwestern and Venice looking for their first home victory of the year. Eight games at home in the first semester. Uh, a lot fewer than that here in the second semester. We'll have a few more double headers for you as we get into the heart of region play after that uh, weekend road trip eight days from today. Balboa out to Clements. Here's Tony. Pass tipped. Gentry on the mismatch. Got the steal. Throw ahead to Pickett. Pickett all. Oh. Get it to the cutter, Holmes, and she'll bank it off the glass for her second field goal. So Justice Irish Holmes averaging 12.6 a game this season. She has been a real joy to watch her progression, especially from year to year with uh, all of the bodies that the Tigers lost from that uh, championship contending team a season ago. Justice Irish Holmes has really put in the work in the offseason, and it has shown. Much like Valderrama, who's got the basketball, her production way up this year as well. Lowry hangs, can't score. Gentry makes sure it's a one and done. Cameron again throws ahead to Justice. Good job there by the Knights getting back on defense, though. Gentry out to Clark. Clark for three, banks it in. So Aaliyah Clark's on the board, and four of the five starters have scored. Champion on a 9-0 run takes a seven-point lead. Asia Tony, no communication. Somebody's got to be in her blind spot as Clark came from behind. Bad pass by Hayes, though. Two on one comes up empty for the Knights, and then Pickett runs out of room trying to come up with the rebound, so it'll stay with the Knights. But communication's got to be there from Southwestern and Venice. So Hannah uh, Coosters is back into the game. Maritza Ortiz out there for the first time tonight. Valderrama facing a triple team and the pass off the mark. Knight still too many turnovers, averaging 41.2 on the season. Good rebounding team, the Knights. They're sixth in Division I plus five per game. Pickett steps into a three, and now all five starters have scored for champion. So it's a 12-0 run for the Tigers. 340 to go in quarter number one. Champion leads it by 10.
Full court press is on for the Tigers, trying to force some turnovers against a turnover-prone Knights team. But Southwestern and Venice able to break the press. Chris Shima, glad to be back with you from the home studio in Greenville. Here's Ortiz, the deep jumper. It's a two-pointer, but Maritza Ortiz, that's her first bucket of the year. And now, tiptoeing, Lowry runs out of room over on the far side. So the Knights stop a 12-0 run, but it will remain Tigers basketball. Gentry, pick it, ball fake. Over to Holmes for three, can't get it to go. Janiah Gilliam into the game for the first time for champion. Here's Clark for three. And Balboa's got the rebound. Inside three minutes to go. Knights down by eight. Here's uh, Coosters. Hannah steps inside the arc. Dared to shoot. Grazes the rim. That's all. Gentry the rebound. Pickett on the run. Nice pass over two defenders to Gentry who scores in the foul. Cameron Gentry a chance for an old school three-point play. See if we can take another look at that one while Cameron gets ready to shoot this uh, free throw and see if we can see this pass. No, we didn't quite get the pass, unfortunately. Back to live action. The three-point play is good for Gentry. So nearing two and a half to go here in this opening quarter. All Tigers so far here tonight. Biggest lead now is 11. Lowry had it poked away by Pickett. Lily's got her 16th steal of the season. Into the forecourt, Clark. Gilliam. Clark out to Holmes. She was open, but elected not to shoot the three. Down to Gentry on the mismatch. Couldn't get the jumper. Gilliam had the rebound. Kesters takes it away, but again... Running out of room, a lot of action coming underneath the hoop on both sides of the basketball here in this opening quarter. Jalen Edmondson will come in for champion. And for the Knights, Coosters is out, and Asia Tony will return. Gilliam, Gentry, Clark, now here is Edmondson. Pick it on the wing. Gentry got it through the hands of Tony. Gilliam with the shot clock at 13. Forced that pass. Anticipation there by Lowry who makes the steal. Lowry bounce passes it ahead to Balboa in the forecourt. Lowry now surveying. Lowry blocked by Clark. Gentry takes it away. Pick it now. Turns on the Jets, gets around two defenders, scooped to Edmondson, pass to Clark, airballed it. Pickett was wide open and instead passed it, but it's taken away. Lowry the steal. Lowry from the free throw line extended. Jumper is good for Daria. Her second field goal. Nearing a minute to go here in quarter number one. 17 to 8. Edmondson left alone. Long on the three, Ortiz the rebound. Valderrama for three, that's her spot. Too strong that time. And then we got a tie up. Looks like they're gonna call a foul on Ortiz on the rebound. Got part of the body apparently. Coosters will come back into the game for Lowry it looks like. With uh, 44 seconds to go here in the quarter. Edmondson, April Lanis into the game. Down low, here's Gentry with the bucket. So Cameron Gentry's got seven in the first quarter. And the lead is back to 11, matching the biggest for champion. Shot clock is off. Coosters can't get it to go. Gentry the rebound, 10 seconds to work with for the Tigers. Edmondson looks to push, spins, shoots, can't score, ball tipped. Tony 
comes away with it, and that'll do it for the first quarter. 19-8 to champion. Ten minutes in the books. We'll be back with the second quarter here in just a little bit. Welcome back, everybody. It'll be night's nice basketball to start the second quarter. Chris Schumann, happy to be with you. Happy New Year. Good ball movement. Clements' baseline shot is good for Madison. Her first jumper today. Daria Lowry with four points to lead the Knights. Cameron Gentry leading the uh, champion Christian Tigers, top team in the country. With seven points, gets an extra possession for her team. Edmondson, though, short on the three. Cameron chases down the rebound. Volleyballs, Lanis has it. Gilliam, pick it. April now to Janaya. Her jumper no good. Gentry, what are they going to do with her? They got Tony on her. And Tony with the foul. So Cameron back at the free throw line. 67% free throw shooter. Gentry is the top rebounder in Division II. As a team, the Tigers, 5.6 offensive rebounds a game. That's second best. They're first in defensive rebounds per game. And correction, that's just Gentry with 5.6 offensive rebounds. She had a season-high 22 rebounds back on in the early part of the season. Also had 21 against Hawaii Pacific. She's up to eight points. Champion back up by 10. Balboa, her pass was tipped out of bounds, so 19 to shoot for the Knights. Knights, I mentioned, they're a good rebounding team as well. Valderrama's got four double-doubles, including each of the last two games to close out the first semester. Sarah, so far scoreless here tonight. Five of the 10 players for the Knights average at least five rebounds per game, so rebounding margin going to factor in big time, and so far... As you see the tired legs at times for the Tigers here tonight, those second chance opportunities have really what helped Champion to go on that 12 0 run in the first quarter. Another steal, though, by the Knights. That was Tony with the deflection. Valderrama throws it ahead, and Pickett picks it right back. Here's Lily with a three on one. She'll take it herself, can't get it to go. Guess who? It's Cameron Gentry again with another offensive rebound, and she'll go back to the line. First of a doubleheader, we'll have the uh, Tigers and Knights on the men's side after this one's over. So, champion Christian, number one in the most recent poll, which was way back in December. The next uh, Division II poll will come out January 10th. But it's expected after picking up that win against Chaminade over the break that the Tigers will hang on to that number one ranking. Anytime you can get a win against a scholarship team, it's always uh, something to hang your hat on for these uh, smaller schools with uh, no athletic scholarships like the Knights and the Tigers. Full court press again is on. Valderrama throws it high. And that was briefly saved. I believe it was Tony. Yeah, it was Asia on the first effort, but... Just off the mark, Lowry couldn't come up with it, so another turnover. Champion going quickly. Wattis for three. Tip for the rebound, and Gerilyn Hardy into the game for the first time. It's 
I thought it might be off her, but they say it's off the Knights, so it'll stay... No, it, I, I had it right the first time. It'll be Knights basketball. So D'Anthony Ellison going deeper into his bench. We've seen a lot of shuffling from Coach Brown as well. Right now it's Lowry, Balboa, Clements, Valderrama, and Asia Tony as the five for Swayu. Clements, top of the key. Defender fell down. Instead, Balboa, Valderrama. Looking down low for Tony. We got some buffering, but it's going to be a turnover as Hardy comes away with it. Throw ahead to Lanis. Hardy, jumper, no. Rebound by Clements. Tigers, uh, Pickett's got a loose shoelace. Knight set a five on four briefly. Pickett recovers. Tony cut off. Here's Valderrama, but she traveled. So Knights turn it over. Tori Hayes, two points in the first quarter, back out there. And it looks like Aaliyah Clark also returning. So Pickett and Edmondson both out. Lana stays out there. So does Gilliam. And Hardy, that's the five. Clark, contested shot, no. Knight's getting some stops. Got to find it on the offensive end. Starting to pile up the turnovers again. Well, Lowry might have gotten fouled there by Clark. No whistle. A little hip check there. They, they're letting them play. Not that time, though, as Valderrama got clubbed. Anna uh, Cooster's back in. Just inside seven minutes to go in the opening half. Knight's looking for some offense here. Valderrama, got to get it going. Can't get it from the baseline, but the putback is good for Clements. Second field goal ties Lowry with four points for the team high. Hardy, that pass too long. Hardy runs out of room. Champion turns it right back over. Clements against the full court press. Throws it away. Alanis in the passing zone. And then she traveled, I believe. Tigers, 13.6 turnovers per ball game. That's best in Division Two. Turnover battle looms large. Both teams a little sloppy here in the first half. As you see the bad pass there. Tori Hayes right around the defense. She'll score. Too easy. Tori Hayes, 39% shooter. All five starters average double figures for champion. Coosters to Tony. Valderrama on the right wing. Down low to Tony. Tony didn't like the positioning, so gets it out to Sarah. Couldn't get the triple. Gilliam's got the rebound. Janaya, that's going to go off her kneecap out of bounds, I believe. No, they say no. It's off the Knights. So Tigers will keep it. They've got seven seconds to get it over, though, and they got to go full court. Lanis is out. We'll tell you about the sub four champion here in just a moment. Looks like Holmes is back out there. Justice stepped out of bounds. Valderrama. Balboa. Eunice with some nice dribbling here in this first half. And a reach called on champion. Some more subs going to come into the game for champion. It's uh, Kayla Casarino. 
She's out there for the first time. Coosters inbound to Valderrama. Jumper is good. Sarah Valderrama first bucket. Good to see her get it going. Single digit lead again. Gerilyn Hardy changes that though as the Tigers go quick. Gerilyn Hardy, senior from Delhi, Louisiana. Coosters hounded by Hardy. Here's Clements. Casarino some pressure. At the midway point, that'll be a kick ball. 10 to shoot for Southwestern Adventist. Tigers matching their biggest lead at 11 right now. Champion trying to remain unbeaten in Southwest region play. Knights are 1-3 and three in region play. Champion is 2-0. Oh, that bank in and out for Asia Tony. Here comes Champion. Irish Holmes on the near side. Up top, Hardy. Doubled up in the zone. Holmes attacks it. Tori Hayes is short. Follows her miss. Short again. Tough angle by Tori. Can't get it the third time either. And then we got a foul called on Clark. That's at least three already on champion here in the quarter. So Knights having a little bit of struggles offensively. Maybe can get into the bonus here if they keep attacking. Getting some calls to go their way. Anna Coosters. Valderrama top of the key. Back to Hannah. Valderrama for three now. Still too strong on it. Holmes wins the battle against Balboa. Throws it ahead to Clark. Clark behind the back. Hardy to Hayes. Here's Holmes for three. Hayes tips it out to Casarino. Inside four to go in the half. Holmes extra pass to Clark. Wasn't expecting it, but gathered and scored anyways. So... Gentry's got nine, Clark with five, four for Holmes, four for Hayes. And Champion takes its biggest lead now at 13. Here's Tony to Valderrama, backdoor cut by Balboa, beautiful offense. Eunice Balboa, second field goal, the assist to Valderrama. Well done there from the Knights. Casarino on the right wing. Tori Hayes around one defender, met by a second. Clements with the stop. That pass too high. Is it going to be chased down? Yes, by Balboa. Balboa trying to draw contact. Came up too strong, and then it's deflected out. Champion will get it back. Knight's next home game will be on the 18th. We'll be with you for Dallas Christian. And Tigers fans, I'll be with you back on Tiger TV on Tuesday. Tigers will also take on Dallas Christian. We're in the region play now. Runner by Lily Pickett, who's back out there. So Pickett's up to five points here tonight. Champion matching its biggest lead again at 13. Tony travel with the basketball. We'll have two more doubleheaders in January in the 18th against Dallas Christian on the 31st against Arlington. And then one more in February against Randall. Casarina thought about it. Irish Holmes splits two defenders. Tied up. Back out to Casarina for three. Three-pointers not falling really for either team with consistency. Throw away there. Holmes will attack. Holmes draws contact, and Justice will go to the line. Justice Irish Holmes, 22 three-point makes this season. That's sixth best in Division II. She's fifth in attempts with 67. 2.8 three-point makes per ball game is second best 
in the NCCAA. I mentioned she's been... All I've got... Uh, let's see. I think I've got seven basketball teams that I work with. She has by far been the most improved player in all seven teams that I've covered this year. She gives her Tigers now a 14-point team, or 14-point lead. Knights, of course, this is my first year with the Knights, so I don't know who's improved, but I know Valderrama, statistically at least, has been. Another backdoor cut. And once again, Valderrama hooks up with Balboa. So Balboa's got six, now a steal. Tony carried the basketball, though. So Knights turn it back over. But those backdoor cuts today of Valderrama second time finding Eunice Balboa. Jalen Edmondson will come into the game. Justice Irish Holmes will go out. Pick it into the forecourt for the Tigers. The steal now by Valderrama. Approaching a minute to go here in the half. How many steals do the Knights have here tonight? Feels like they're approaching, I want to say, at least five that I can think of off the top of my head. Here's Coosters for three. No good. Pick at the board. Defense has not been the problem today for the Knights. They've had that good anticipation in the passing lanes, like that one there by Valderrama. Hannah, the scoop. Can't score. Ortiz back in, tried for the rebound, but Gentry, who's also back in, pulls it down. Edmondson. Down low, it's Gentry. First player in double figures here in the half camera, Gentry. Biggest lead for champion now at 15. Valderrama at the free throw line. Contested jumper, no. Gentry the rebound. Shot clock is off, but Tigers looking to push. Edmondson, open shot, no. Hooster's the rebound. Knights have more time than what you're seeing on the scoreboard. About four seconds left. Shot no good, and that'll do it. 33-18, to 18, champion takes its biggest lead into the locker room as we go to the half with the Knights down by 15. We'll be back with the second half here in just a little bit. Don't go too far.
Welcome back, everybody. We are underway in the second half. The audio just kind of died from the gym, so um, hopefully that will come back. But if not, you, you'll be stuck with me and no natural sound, and I apologize for that. Here's Justice Irish Holmes off on the three. Three-point shooting either way has not been great. This is the biggest lead for either team, champion by 15. They've led by double figures since about the midway point in the opening quarter. If you're just joining us, the top-ranked Tigers just off the plane after their Hawaii trip at 7-2 and 2-0 and and in Southwest region play. Taking on the Knights, who have brought in Hannah Kesters, who, uh, Kusters, excuse me, long on the three and then couldn't save it. So leading scorer at the half, one player in double figures in the game for champion Christian Cameron Gentry. has got 11 points. Six for Justice Irish Holmes, five for Aaliyah Clark, five for Pickett as well, four for Tori Hayes, two for Hardy. Here's Irish Holmes open three, and they still can't buy one. A lot of offensive rebounds for Champion. That has helped them build this lead as Pickett misses on the three. Valderrama's got the board. Uh, Eunice Balboa was six points on a couple backdoor finds from Valderrama. So she leads the Knights. Meanwhile, four points for Lowry, four for Clements, two apiece for Valderrama and Ortiz. Both teams off to a cold start here in this third quarter, though, with Sarah Valderrama into the forecourt. Balboa for three, in and out. Gentry's got the rebound. Throw ahead here to Irish Holmes. Tori Hayes. Back out to Justice. Using the baseline, the scoop is no good. Ball tipped out, and Balboa's got the rebound. Uh, folks, I'm going to stop the play-by-play -play just for a moment so I can communicate and try to get the audio back from the gym. So I'll be back with you here in uh, just a second. All right, back with you as Pickett is short on the three. So Tigers came in averaging 75.3 points per ball game, shooting 39%. They're the top points per game team in Division II. Valderrama for three. It's an air ball. Neither team has scored. We have played almost three minutes here in this second half. Aaliyah Clark trying to change that. Pass tipped. Pickett can't get it to go. And we got a whistle on Lely. So the first foul on Lily Pickett. Tori Hayes is going to come out. I'll tell you about the sub here in just a moment. Balboa. And Balboa waits for the defense, buries a three. Eunice Balboa, first points for either team here in this second half. And the lead is down to 12. Did they call that a two? We've only got two points on our scoreboard, so Balboa's got eight, my apologies, and the lead is 13 for champion. Inbound by Clark Gentry, Janiah Gilliam in for Tory Hayes. Here is Pickett. Gentry down low, rockets it out to Clark. I don't think Clark was expecting that. And then when it came at her at 100 miles an hour, it uh, caught her off guard, couldn't recover. So a sloppy start to the second half, just one field goal for either team. Hannah Coosters, she's left wide open, can't get it to go. Clark looking to push now. It's a four on two. Aaliyah takes it herself and scores. Lead back to 15 for champion. Aaliyah Clark's got seven here tonight. First of a doubleheader. We'll have the guys game for you. About 20-ish uh, minutes. Not sure how much time they'll have between games. Supposed to start at seven, but not likely to be on time. Valderrama extra possession. Here is Lowry baseline shot. Clark looking to push again. Nobody back except for Coosters. And Justice Irish Holmes blows the bunny. Clark got popped on the tip try 
So Aaliyah Clark will go to the free throw line. Aaliyah Clark, seven points. She's a 65% free throw shooter. Southwestern of Venice has been off for almost a month, last playing on December 10th. They're going to be off for eight more days after today. They'll go on a three-game and three-day road trip. So Clark's got eight. Got a whistle here on champion on the press. Balboa, Tony, Coosters, Lowry, and this is Peyton Sandifer with the turnaround shot. So Sandifer played limited in the opening half. Off the bench with a quick two for the Knights. Stepping into a three. Pickett got it to go. Lee Pickett, 30% from downtown. Biggest lead for champion now is 17. Coosters over to Asia Tony scoreless night for her. Sandifer is fouled, and Peyton will go to the free throw line. So Hannah Cooster is playing in her first game, joining her soccer teammate Eunice Balboa on the basketball squad for the second semester for the Knights. Peyton Sandifer rims in the first free throw. Sandifer struggled a bit from the free throw line this season. But gets them both here. So Sandifer, four quick ones off the bench. Trying to help the Knights hang around here. Aaliyah Clark pushing. And that's going to be blocked by Sandifer out of bounds. So it's going to stay with Champion. Champions got Clark and Edmondson, Gilliam, Pickett, and Gentry. Edmondson draws the defense. Ball was tipped out to Pickett. Lely surveys, throws it into the corner. Extra pass. Sears Clark for three. Swishes it through. And Aaliyah Clark with 11, matching Gentry for the game high. Lead back out to 18 for Champion. Again, their biggest. Now they get a steal. Clark, throw ahead to Pickett. Pickett for three. No good. Gentry's got the offensive rebound. Out to Edmondson for three. No good again. Gentry for a second time. Jalen tries it. A little closer. Got it to go. First field goal for Jalen Edmondson. A lot of players for the Tigers from Texas, so I imagine uh, maybe a few parents on hand today. Gilliam Edmondson is one of those players. She's from Sherman, Texas. Deep three by Clark is going to go out of bounds. So champion taking a 20-point lead here in the third quarter. 4.16 to go in quarter number three. Knights men are still uh, looking for their first win of the year. Champion Tigers are 5-2. and two. They're sixth in the... Uh, most recent poll, again, the first one of the second semester released by the NCCAA will come out on the 10th. Janiah Gilliam putting on the moves, but she's called for steps, so no bucket there for Janiah. Knights will get it back, though. Champion Christian splitting in Hawaii over uh, New Year's week. Losing to Hawaii Pacific and defeating Chaminade. A lot of people think because of that early season uh, men's Division I tournament that Chaminade hosts, that Chaminade is a Division I school. They're not. They are D2. Uh, the Chaminade men have won a few times in that tournament as Edmondson gets her second field goal. Now she's got five points all in the third quarter. Champion 
starting to pull away here. So Shamanada D2, Hawaii Pacifica D2, Tigers splitting against those two teams. Valderrama too strong. Gentry the rebound. Nobody's back. It's a two on one. And Edmondson with the easy layup. Seven quick points for Jalen. Lead out to 25 for Champion. And Adrian Brown calls timeout. Knights got to get back on defense. We'll be back here in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. We've got about three minutes left to go here in this third quarter. Champions pulled it out to a 25-point lead now. Knights basketball. Here's Asia Tony rejected by Gentry. Gentry got the tie-up, but credit Lowry for ripping it away. Couldn't get the turnaround shot, though, and then she touched it last. And out of bounds. April Lannis into the game, in and out on her triple try as Tony pulls the board down. Balboa to Valderrama, couldn't get it to go. Sarah's got the offensive rebound. Valderrama fouled by Gentry. Gentry and Clark have 11 each for the Tigers. Eunice Balboa with eight points for the Knights. Sarah Valderrama, it's been a quiet night for her. She has two. Looking for more 55% free throw shooter. Valderrama, four double-doubles this year, including each of her last two games. She's going to have to pick it up to continue that streak here into 2023. Happy New Year, by the way. Do you, do you make New Year's resolutions? Are you that, that kind of crowd. I don't really do that. I do Lily Pickett turning on the Jets. Here's Edmondson open. She's been hot in the third quarter. She stays hot. Edmondson now with 10 points all in the third quarter. Lead out to 27 for champion. I think the first of the year is always a good time to kind of reflect. Make sure you're where you want to be at in your life. I don't do resolutions, but I, but I do think it's important to take some time to you know, check in with yourself, and, and I like to do that around the holidays, mainly because it's the only time I have off work to do. <laughs> Here's Gentry with the bank shot, and the Tigers are pouring it on. We wondered how they'd come out, and they came out a little flat after that quick turnaround. Boy, that's tough. You fly, you, you were in Hawaii 24 hours ago, right? So you go three time zones away, and then you got to play a road game Less than 24 hours later, that's not easy. So the Tigers came out a little flat, but understandably so. They have picked it up here after halftime, though. Gentry is going to go to the bench as Casarino comes in for the first time here in the second half for champion. Valderrama into the forecourt. Almost traveled. Here's Tony out to Balboa. It's a two-pointer, and it's good. So Eunice Balboa in double figures now. She has 10 points tonight. 
Aaliyah Clark pushing the tempo again. Counted in the foul for Aaliyah Clark. Who's got a Baker's dozen and a chance for 14 if she can get the uh, three-point opportunity here. Got it to go. So Clark with 14. Gentry's got 13. Lead out to 30 for champion. Valderrama, Peyton Sandifer back in. Gets it to Tony. Tony draws contact. Let's take another look at Aaliyah Clark, who's been pushing the tempo off of makes here, especially in this third quarter for the Tigers, and it has worked, as you see right there. Now, Asia Tony trying to answer back, get her first points of the night at the free throw line. 49% free throw shooter. Tony, the senior from beautiful Huntsville, Alabama. I've said it before on these broadcasts that Alabama. Highly underrated for natural beauty. And Huntsville uh, leads the way there. Not really in the mountains per se, but uh, close enough where you've got some beautiful landscape and it's just a wonderful area, growing area too. One of the few in Bama. Peyton Sandifer blocked from behind. 15 on the shot clock for the Knights late here in this third quarter. Valderrama to inbound. Here's Tony. First field goal. And it comes up short. Gilliam touched it last. So another crack at it here for the Knights. And Sandifer draws contact. So Knights being aggressive trying to get to the free throw line here in this second half. Peyton Sandifer back at it. I'll tell you, not necessarily a resolution, but what they call here? They call a uh, technical foul. So they called a technical foul on champion. I've seen this a lot with junior colleges. Is this going to be a one-shot technical foul or a two-shot? D'Anthony Ellison's getting an explanation. Coach D text me after the game because I'm curious about some of these technical calls. Uh, in, in the junior college games that I did over the break, there were a ton of flopping technical fouls, but those were one-shot technical fouls. This was a two-shotter, and I didn't really see anything egregious there for champion. So Sandifer gets one out of two at the line. Now, Valderrama is going to shoot two. So I'm not sure. I think they might have done this out of order because it was Sandifer who was fouled. Valderrama up to five points, by the way. Now, she's got another one coming. I have no idea, folks. All I know is there's been a lot of point of emphasis on, on flopping. At least from the junior college games that I've been doing. But I've never seen that many free throws in a row like that. So it's going to stay Knights basketball. Couldn't tell you. Maybe there's one of those referee bureaucrats out there who Asia Tony blows by the defense too strong off the glass, and then we're going to get a foul called on the Knights here. The shot clock is off. We're late in the third quarter. Champion has been in control, pulling away by as many as 27 or correction by as many as uh, 30 here in this third quarter. Aaliyah Clark to Casarina. 
Gerilyn Hardy in the game. April Lannis and Edmondson. That's the five for champion. They can hold for the final shot. Edmondson instead. She has been so hot. She has up to 12 points all in the third quarter. A few seconds to work with here for the Knights. Don't go by what's on the scoreboard, though. It's usually wrong. Peyton Sandifer down low at the buzzer. They're going to count that good. Peyton Sandifer with seven off the bench. So Edmondson for champion, 12 points off the bench. Sandifer with seven all in the third quarter, but it's all Tigers here tonight. They lead by 25 with 10 minutes left to go. We'll be back here in just a moment with the fourth and final quarter. Be back with you on the 18th for another doubleheader, Southwest Region doubleheader, Dallas Christian. That's the Tigers' next opponent, by the way. Tigers fans, I'll be back with you on Tiger TV on Tuesday uh, for another doubleheader with the uh, Crusaders. That'll be 5-7 and seven on Tuesday. Peyton Sandifer getting good at getting to the free throw line here. She's fouled again. Sandifer, seven quick points off the bench. She starts the quarter back at the line. Final quarter here in our first of two between the Knights and Tigers. We'll have the guys game about 20 minutes or so after this one's over or 7 o'clock, whichever comes first or latest or whatever. You know what I'm saying, I hope, because I sure don't. Sandifer missed them both this time. Rebound controlled by Clark. Clark's been pushing the tempo. Swings it out. Edmondson again. Not that time. Lannis, though, the offensive rebound. Casarino over to Clark for three. And that's going to be off champion. So back to the Knights. Balboa has ten points. Lone player in double figures. Sandifer with seven. And six for Valderrama. Three players in double figures for the Tigers. Aaliyah Clark with 14. Gentry with uh, Baker's dozen. Edmondson's got a dozen. Pickett with eight, six for Holmes. Leading scorers in the game for both teams as we get late in this one. April Lannis to Casarino, top of the key for three. Way off. Clark saves it, but right to Balboa. Throw ahead for Valderrama on the left wing. Out to Balboa, mid-range. Yes, Eunice, that's her uh, third mid-range jumper here today. She's got uh, 12 points. Valderrama found her a couple times on backdoor cuts as well. Hardy can't get the jumper. Long rebound comes out to Casarino. Hardy will attack. Too strong. Rebound Ortiz back in the game. So Maritza Ortiz back out there. She scored her first points of the year in the first half. Balboa. Dribbles out of a double team, and her shot is blocked out of bounds, but a foul called on Clark. So Eunice Balboa going to go to the free throw line, looking to add to her 12 points here tonight. Balboa from Little Rock, which is upish the road from Hot Springs, Arkansas, where Champion Christian is located. 
Balboa, one out of two. She's got 13 tonight. Tori Hayes is back in the game. Justice Irish Holmes returns, as does Lily Pickett, with Hardy and Clark as the five for the Tigers right now. Sarah Valderrama out there, Eunice Balboa, Asia Tony, Peyton Sandifer, and I'm missing somebody. I'll tell you in a second here. Uh, Maritza Ortiz, that's the five for Adrian Brown's team. Balboa looking for Sandifer, and Hayes was ready for it. Pick it. Nobody on Hardy. The back door was extremely open. Hardy second field goal. Balboa, top of the key jumper. Hayes the rebound. Justice Irish Holmes. Numbers now for the Tigers. Four on two. Hardy again. Slow to close that time, Valderrama and Hardy. They're doing those. Uh, James Worthy used to do this as part of Showtime. Uh, get out and break down the court. That's what Gerald and Hardy's been doing here on these last sequences for the Tigers. But uh, James Worthy, if it looked like he knew his team was going to get a stop or Somebody was going to get a rebound. He'd be flying down the court. Then Magic would just throw it full court to him for a slam dunk. Pick it into the four court. Cameron Gentry back out there. Drives in over a double team. Can't get the bucket, but she's going to the free throw line. Gentry's got 13 points tonight. So ninth in scoring in Division II at 17.4. Second in field goal percentage, 57%. First in rebounding at 18 a game. And third in blocks at 2.2. 67% free throw shooter, Cameron Gentry. Has 14 points to match Aaliyah Clark for the game high. Make it 15, so Gentry's 15 is the game high now. Transfer from Ozark Christian. And another first-team All-American. It's going to be an easy selection this year, Cameron Gentry. Clark out to Hayes. Hayes draws the contact, so Leah Clark gets another steal. Clark came into the game with 15, so did Lee Pickett. Both of those players have several steals here tonight to add to their totals. Tori Hayes, four points tonight, 71% at the line this season as she gets the first one to go. NAIA transfer, Tori Hayes in her senior year at champion. 11.7 points per ball game. Gets both free throws to go. Lead back to 29 for the Tigers. Cooster's into the game. She'll take a jumper and get it to go. That's Hannah Cooster's first field goal. And right back down goes Aaliyah Clark. So Aaliyah Clark and Gentry ping-ponging for the game high. Clark's now got 16. Gentry with 15. Cooster's will shoot it again and hit it again. Back-to-back -back field goals from Hannah. Just joined the team here this semester. Her first game with the uh, Knights. Step back three by uh, Holmes. And Holmes now with nine points. Offense picking up both ways. You're the Tigers. You're happy to trade buckets. They're leaving Coosters alone. Heat check time came up long. Here's Holmes, the Hesian attacks. Scoop no good. Rebound Balboa. Eunice pushing it into the forecourt. Balboa takes on two defenders. Missed it short. Ortiz tips it, but it comes to Clark. Champion by 30. Looking for more here. Aaliyah Clark, what a pass. And Tori Hayes is tied up. So she'll go to the free throw line. Boy. I feel like the instant replay, I've, I've been kind of napping on it, but not for Leah Clark here tonight. Let's take another look at this. 
as Torrey Hayes gets ready to shoot a couple free throws. That is a nasty pass from Aaliyah there. Knights will make them earn it at the free throw line, though, as Daria Lowry comes back into the game. So does Clements for Swayu. Tori's got eight on the night. Coosters open again. Turnaround shot is short. Gentry the rebound. Holmes to pick it. Hayes, no. Quick pass by Irish Holmes. Clark right back to her and Justice for three. So Holmes in double figures. She's got 12. Four players in double figures for the Tigers. Balboa, the lone player in double figures for the Knights. Coosters, they're just letting her shoot. Hit a couple, missed her last two. Clark turns on the Jets. Aaliyah Clark going to take this herself and score. So Clark up to 18 here tonight. Lowry now. Blocked but fouled. Daria will go to the free throw line. A couple of field goals tonight for Daria. She's got four points. April Lanis into the game for champion. Lowry from just up the road in Dallas. Sophomore with five points, looking for six. And she gets it. April Lanis for three. Airballed it. Gentry, yes, on the reverse. So Cameron Gentry with 17. Another double-double for her, most likely. I don't keep the rebounds. My brain won't let me do more than points. They're collapsing on Valderrama off of uh, Coosters. Valderrama now has got the size mitts match here. Back out to Hannah. 4-3. No good. Tip for the rebound. Gentry. Quick toss to Justice. Three on one. Pass off to Mark Lanis is there, down to Torrey, who turns and scores. And Torrey Hayes, who had a quiet first half, all of a sudden the fifth player for champion Christian in double figures. Now she has 10. Clements, top of the key. Three-second violation going to be called on Southwestern Adventist. So champion going to go to 8-2, and two, wrap up this road trip. Stay unbeaten in Southwest Region play at 3-0. and oh. Southwestern of Venice going to stay winless at home, go to 1-10 and 10 on the year, 1-4 and four in Southwest Region play. Again, eight days off for them. Get a little practice time in at the start of the semester. That's always a good thing. Knights will be in action on the road. Three games in three days starting January 13th. That Friday, they'll take on Union. This will be at Andrews College. Then on Saturday, they take on Great Lakes, which is a, a, a good athletic program up there in Michigan. And then Sunday against Andrews, the host school. So 13th, 14th, 15th, all on the road for the Knights. We'll be back with you for Dallas Christian on the 18th as part of a doubleheader. Eunice Balboa turnaround shot is good. Balboa with 15 on the night. Came in averaging eight a game. Tigers fans, I'll be with you on Tuesday on Tiger TV here on YouTube. Dallas Christian doubleheader. Lanis back iron on the three. Gentry the rebound. Swings it out to Pickett for three. 
Pickett tries to chase it down, and hard collision there between Pickett and Coosters. Coosters, the soccer player, is used to that kind of close contact. So Tigers keep it. April Lannis will try it again. Gets the friendly bounce this time, and Lannis with her first field goal. Cooster's on the wing. Valderrama has it taken away. Casarino, then Valderrama takes it right back, but I think she was out of bounds. Or the ball went out of bounds, or there was a foul call. Whole lot of scenarios potentially there, but the Knights are going to get it back, so it looks like a turnover there by the Tigers. Lowry attacks. Lowry blocks. Now, see, I think that should be a, a jump ball. She got, she got, you know, if the defense makes contact with the ball, that's not a travel. Should have been a tie-up. Either way, it's champion ball. Casarino corner shot. Yes. Casarino's first field goal. So of the players who have played today, Gilliam for the Tigers, lone player who hasn't scored. And everybody has scored who has played to so far for Southwestern and Venice. Pick it over to Casarino. Trying to go back to back. Couldn't. Gentry's got the rebound. Nearing a minute to go in this one. Here's Lannis trying her second triple. Not that time, though. Valderrama the rebound. Lowry had it poked from behind. Valderrama with 23 on the shot clock. Clements, Valderrama. The cutter is Balboa. Jumper no good. Hardy the rebound inside a minute to go here in this one. Foul called on Lowry. And it looks like the Tigers are in the bonus here, and that's going to send Tori Hayes to the line. Hayes with 10 points on the evening. Leading scorer in the game, Aaliyah Clark with 18. Cameron Gentry with 17. Justice Irish Holmes, Jalen Edmondson, 12 points apiece. Tori Hayes trying to become the third Tiger with a dozen. She's got 11 right now. Lily Pickett with eight. Hardy's got six. Hayes does have a dozen. Lannis with three, two for Casarino. Knights, one player in double figures. Eunice Balboa with 15 points. Seven for Sandifer. Six for Valderrama. Six for Lowry as well. Uh, four for Clements, excuse me, five for Hannah Coosters, two for Ortiz, one point for Asia Tony here on the night. <laughs> Lowry went off the uh, back of the inboundy in a tie up. So, champion. 33 in the first half. They're up to 90 in the game. So better offensive numbers for the jet lag Tigers, who will win their eighth game of the season as Lannis fires the jumper. Shot clock and game clock are basically even. Balboa off. Balboa follows her miss, had it blocked. And the Tigers can dribble it out here. Instead, it's thrown away. 
with just a few ticks left to go. So, Knights will go to 1-10. and 10. Again, they're off for eight days. They'll be on the road at Andrews University for a triple header on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Tigers go to 8-2, and 3-0 and oh in Southwest Region play. Knights fall to 1-10, and 1-4 and four in Southwest Region play. Tigers fans will be with you again on Tuesday against Dallas Christian at 5. Knights fans... Aside from our next game, I'll be with you again for more women's basketball January 18th against Dallas Christian. That's a 5-30-7-30 doubleheader. So stick around. We have game number two between Champion and Southwestern and Venice. That's coming up in about 29 minutes from now. So a little bit under a half hour from game number two. The guys will tip up at 7 p.m. Come on back for that one. Once again, your final, Champion 90, Southwestern of Venice 46. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you again at uh, 